Congratulations. Thank you. How did you find out? Uh, through email and uh, people texting me. And uh, yeah, but I found out, the, got the email from uh, the association, so it was definitely exciting. Yeah, what, what was your first mm -hmm. reaction to it? Uh, excited, you know, not many people get the opportunity to, and there's a lot of great players in this league and, and another league, so uh, definitely found out, told my wife, and uh, we we're both excited from there. Has it been in your mind for a while with all the speculation? Uh, not too much, you know, I've always focused on just focusing on the Timbers, you know, and if everything happened well uh, with the Timbers and I performed with the Timbers, then the opportunity would come up and uh, I'm happy it did. Is there any, do you have a sense of satisfaction or well-being? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it? Uh, uh, I'm happy because uh, you're, you're, you're getting recognized for performing well with your club team and for helping your team win. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, exciting and and satisfying as well. You're such a calm guy. You're even calm mm -hmm. right now. Did you <laughs> jump around or any sort of celebration? Uh, no, no celebration. Just told my wife and then uh, we went on from there. Did, uh, did, have you talked mm -hmm. to Jurgen or any of the coaches and the, have they uh, mm -hmm. sent you a message about what they expect uh, out of you? Uh, no, no expectations, just that uh, I was going to be brought in uh, after the Vancouver game, but no expectations uh, as of yet. It's been quite a journey for you. Mm -hmm. um, again, I, I have to ask, is there, mm -hmm. is there any sort of, you can, mm -hmm. do you feel like you've made another big step? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, uh, for me it's been uh, Happy moments of just being with my family. Just the whole situation, just getting this internship, and then this is just the uh, icing on the cake, being able to represent the country on the, in the important games and the qualifying games. Is there a sense of a uh, little bit of relief that uh, this is kind of behind you and you don't have to think about it anymore? Yeah, definitely. Uh, now that it's happened, you know, it's just go from there and go out there and uh, meet the guys and help the team perform. This adds a little bit to the workload, too, as you're in a playoff drive mm -hmm. here. Uh, how do you balance the two obligations? Uh, definitely fun. Vancouver comes first on Sunday and then, uh, then we can go on from there and the uh, good thing there's that break so you get to pay a little bit more attention to the Timbers which is the first priority and then go on and uh, focus on the national team. How did the team react? Uh, just congrats. I don't know if everyone knows, just a couple guys uh, they just told me congrats. I don't think I'll tell them unless they tell me something. Darling, think congratulations. Take me Thank back you. to September. You had your system chip test. Mm -hmm. What were you feeling before that, and mm -hmm. and how satisfying was it for mm -hmm. you afterwards, having mm -hmm. received citizenship in the United States? Uh, just nervous. I feel like that's the biggest part. You're gonna control your nerves, you know. But went in there, I took the test. Uh, the interviewer was real nice, calm guy, and uh, real polite. And uh, after that, was just a relief. Uh, no one else can get uh, become a citizen of this great country. Is there any kind of sense that this could help you, you know, expand your game? Mm -hmm. and learn more this, this, this has kind of been your one you know, environment for the past five years yeah definitely you know you get to play against some other competition and see and see what else is out there so I'm definitely excited to go out there and learn and, and get better and see uh, see what I can take from it refocusing on Vancouver uh, a little what uh, what are you expecting from mm -hmm. Sunday uh, and what do you guys need to, to do on the day uh, I feel like we can just put in the same performance as we did. Maybe just get the goal. You know, I feel like we came and kept the ball well. Had a couple of chances. Had a chance at the end uh, to get the to get the win. So I feel like overall we're happy with it. But we know we can we can do better and get more goals. What are you expecting uh, from Vancouver uh, on Sunday? Do you think you're going to see a, a different look from them at all? Or? Uh, I'm not too sure yet. I'm not too sure yet. But uh, you can definitely see towards the end of the game they wanted to get that goal because they knew it was crucial to get in the get in the way goal going back there. But we know that we can. Uh, we get a tie, we're in. A 1-1 one, one tie or more, we're in. But definitely go out there and look for the win. You guys have had success on the road recently. Mm -hmm. How much does that sort of feed into your confidence going into this game? Uh, I think it feeds a lot to our confidence. You know, we've been good on the road, won a lot of games on the road. And so as we so we have at home also. So we knew going to the playoff that a home and away would, would be in our favor. How does it change with Morales mm -hmm. to be able to play the mm -hmm. whole game? For them, mm -hmm. especially in terms of you rolling midfield. Yeah, he's definitely a dangerous player, so he's got to pay a little bit more attention to him. Uh, last game, they kind of had three holding guys in there, but Morales in there, he's uh, dangerous in the attack, not just with final ball, but shot some distance and just creating overall for them. All right, thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.